Maharishi has said that till you reach the stage of Gyan and wake out of Maya, you must do social service by leaving suffering wherever you see it. But you must do it without the feeling of I am the doer. You must help the other man as a means of worshipping God in that man. And Raman Maharshi has said this. So, which I is asking that, what is this social service that Raman Maharshi is referring to? One who himself is suffering, can he bring relief from suffering to others? What is the cause of one's suffering? What is the cause of one's suffering? That one cannot look within, one cannot look at himself. If you ask Raman Maharshi, he will say, lack of self-inquiry is the only cause of suffering. When you inquire into your suffering, then you see that the sufferer is just a joke. The words of a saint have to be understood in great silence, with great care and respect. Otherwise there is the danger of bringing in some perspective from here and there. So here is Raman Maharshi talking to somebody and the somebody is saying, I am suffering. The moment he says, I am suffering, Maharshi knows that this fellow is suffering because of lack of self-inquiry. He is suffering because he is continuously looking outwards and not within. Otherwise he couldn't have suffered. The one who is looking outwards can look only outwards, at least for the while. At least, as Maharshi says, till you reach the stage of Gyan and thus wake out of this Maya. He is admitting that it will take you time. Mark his words. Till you reach the stage of Gyan and thus wake out of this Maya, you must do social service. So Maharshi is telling him, you will take time. And till the time Gyan arises in you, you will continue to look outwards. You cannot look within. So when you cannot look within, obviously you cannot look at your own suffering. You cannot really observe what is happening within. You are looking outwards and you will continue to look outwards. So all right, you cannot look at your own suffering, then at least look at the suffering of others. The best would have been to look at your own suffering, go into your own mind, but you are incapable of it. You will take time to come to that point. Till you come to that point, you have no option but to continue looking in the direction that you are currently looking in. And what is that direction? Outside. So, alright, look at others then. Looking at yourself requires a lot of detachment. You are looking outside, continue looking outside, look at others, look at their suffering, see how they are suffering. Now we very well know of a couple of things. One, the mind is one. The suffering of mankind is one. If you can really know why your neighbor is suffering, you will know why you are suffering. Because we do not suffer for multiple reasons. We really suffer for one reason only. You have proven yourself incapable of looking at yourself. So alright, look outside and try to see 
why anybody suffers in trying to see why anybody suffers you will come to the root of your own suffering also but at the same time just as you cannot really honestly look at yourself using your own eyes you will also not be able to look honestly at others you will try to look at them you will proceed to an extent and then fail and then you will realize the need to have clean eyes whose clean eyes your own you will have to turn within to clean your eyes maharishi's words are like a very well structured technique a technique that does not arise from planning or thought but from his meditative understanding i get it you remember that woman who came to the buddha my son has died and i hear that you are a holy man you will have to bring him alive again now the buddha could have talked to him about anikka anatma about the temporal nature of beings right could have dealt with her in principles and theories and words could have told her can you look within and identify who really is suffering and mourning the loss of the child but the buddha did not do any of this he said all right you go to the village because you are capable only of looking outside where does the sun exist outside where has the sun died outside so you are looking only outside all right outside there exists a village also go back to your village and bring me a few grains from a household that has seen no death he did not tell her to inquire within her own mind why because she was incapable of inquiring had she been capable could she would she have come to the buddha with this kind of a request bring my son to life again so to this woman it is important that treatment is given considering the real state of the patient so she is sent to the village and she is going from door to door inquiring whether there is any house that has seen no death and she doesn't find any and by evening she returns to buddha falls on his feet and says i have understood and the buddha could have preached her for months and she wouldn't have understood maharishi is doing the same thing he is saying all right you are suffering now go out and try to relieve others suffering you will fail you will find you cannot relieve their suffering just as the woman failed to find any house that had seen no death similarly this man who is being advised by maharishi will go out try to relieve others of their suffering and will fail in this failing he will discover the root of suffering in looking outwards he will come back within all right so do not think that social service is possible to be done by this man that is your question you have queried rightly you have asked can a suffering mind really be of help to others yes your doubt is well placed this man really will not be able to relieve anybody's suffering but in trying to do that he will come upon the truth yes like that woman yes